So he put down his pen, got nothing left to say. He wrote for them for so long, he never took a day. He got weary of the plot, used all his favorite lines, and when he turned off the light, he knew it was time to say goodbye. Cause he really didn't mind at all. To be locked in a life where events will never change was the kind of torture to them. They knew there had to be a way to get him back in the chair, write a fresh new line or two. But it seemed time had passed, and not everything can last. So they'd wait and hope he'd write again once more. Storyteller, what's going on? Thought you'd reach the peak, so now you're moving on. We're not fleshed out as you think. We've got a room to grow, but if you never write it out, I guess we'll never know. Lancelot. Molesworth, Holmes, and Lorelei, Anne of Green Gables, Dixon and Jane Eyre, Madame Boxery, Hamlet, Red Butler, they all lay in your hands. Through different writers they expand, or you just send them back. When you first came in, storyteller, what's going on? You thought you'd reach the peak, so now you're moving on. We're not fleshed out as you think. We've got room to grow, but if you never write it out. Guess we'll never know. Chapter twenty-one: A new departure in flavorings. Dear me, there is nothing but meetings and partings in this world, as Mrs. Lynde says. Remarked Anne plaintively, putting her slate and books down on the kitchen table on the last day of June, and wiping her red eyes with a very damp handkerchief. Wasn't it fortunate, Marilla, that I took an extra handkerchief to school today? I had a presentiment that it would be needed. I never thought you were so fond of Mr. Phillips that you'd require two handkerchiefs. What's going on? You thought you'd reach the peak, so now you're moving on. We're not fleshed out as you think. We've got room to grow, but if you never write it out, I guess we'll never know. Thank、you